Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to protect an ArcServe UDP deduplication data store by backing it up to tape. Okay, now before we get started, in order to successfully back up deduplication data stores to tape, ArcServe UDP needs to integrate with ArcServe Backup. To properly perform this procedure, it's important to know how the data store folders reside on the backup source machine whether it resides remotely to the ArcServe Backup Server, locally to the ArcServe Backup Server on a single volume, or locally to the ArcServe Backup Server on multiple volumes. Based on how the data store folder resides on the backup source machine, you can then use the corresponding methods to successfully back up the deduplication data store. But first, there are a few prerequisites to verify before you begin the backup process. First, in ArcServe UDP, you'll need to select all of the following deduplication data store folders for the backup process from the Resources tab. Backup Destination, Data Destination, Index Destination, and Hash Destination. In order to ensure data consistency across all four of these folders, you must select the folder location on the same host. And finally, because ArcServe UDP needs to integrate with ArcServe Backup, you'll need to make sure that you have a valid ArcServe Backup Open File Agent License. Okay, now that we're done with the prerequisites, let's go through the various methods on how to backup a deduplication data store to tape. For data store folders that are remote to the backup server, you first have to make sure that the ArcServe Backup Client Agent is installed on the source machine. After that, you can add the source machine to the ArcServe Backup Manager and perform the backup process. Here are the steps to do this. From the ArcServe Backup Manager, you need to add the source machine where the data store resides as follows. So from the Quick Start pane, click Backup, select the Backup Server, click the Source tab, and then from the Group View, right-click Client Agent, and from the pop-up menu, select Add Machine Object. And the Add Agent dialog opens. From here, specify the host name and the credentials for the remote machine then click OK. Now let's select the source data store folders. From the group view, navigate to the remote source machine and select the data store folders. The data store folders I have here are common, data, hash, and index. We can now submit the backup job. To do this, click Options and the Global Options dialog opens. Click the Volume Shadow Copy Service tab and select Use VSS and clear or uncheck the revert to traditional backup if VSS fails option. Then click OK. Now click Submit to submit the backup job to the specified tape destination. For data store folders that are local to the backup server on a single volume, a single backup session will be created on the ArcSurf tape media. To do this, first select the source data folders by selecting the group view and navigate to the local agent machine. Select the data store folders and for each one, click Options to open the Global Options dialog. From here, click the Volume Shadow Copy Service tab and select Use VSS and clear or uncheck the Revert to Traditional Backup if VSS Fails option. Then click OK. And click Submit to submit the backup job to the specified tape destination. For data store folders that are local to the backup server on multiple volumes, Multiple sessions are created on the ArcServe tape media. To do this, you would first have to add the local agent as follows. From the Quick Start pane, click Backup, then click the Source tab. From the Group view, right-click Client Agent, and from the pop-up menu, select Add Machine Object. And the Add Agent dialog opens. From here, specify a dummy host name and clear or uncheck the Use Computer Name Resolution Recommended checkbox. Specify the IP address and enter the username and password. Then click OK. Now you need to select the source data folders. From the group view, navigate to the dummy host name, select the data store folders from the appropriate volumes. For example, here we have volume E with the common folder where the backup destination folder is, and volume F with the data store folders of data, hash, and index. Once the appropriate folder paths are selected, we can then enable VSS from the Options tab. And finally, click Submit 
to submit the backup job to the specified tape destination. That's it. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video. For our other videos and more information on the features and benefits of using this application, please visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.